Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 8th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to discuss something that I just kind of sort of stumbled upon in my daily rounds. I do quite a bit of just overall climate and weather watching. And, and what appears to be happening right now is rather unusual. I'm not, I don't want to um, say that it's, it's super unusual given the present state of the, the global climate system, but, but it is a, is a pretty extraordinary warming event ongoing for Greenland for today, in which it appears likely that, that large regions of Greenland's surface will experience melt for, for the August 8th date. And based on this GFS model, we see that large sections of the surface of the Greenland ice sheet are above freezing for today or very close to freezing presently. And this looks like it extends well more than 30% and, and probably as much as 40 or 50% of the surface area of the Greenland ice sheet. So for this time of year to have such extensive above freezing temperatures on the largest mass of ice in the northern hemisphere it is a bit of an outlier. And what's interesting is that Greenland hasn't really tended to cool off as much as, as we typically see during August. So, so that's certainly a, a trend to keep an eye on. Now, this feature is being enhanced by a ridge, an upper level ridge in the jet stream running up through Greenland and a high pressure system circulating over Greenland, as well as a high pressure system circulating over the Arctic Ocean, which is helping to warm the Arctic Ocean region north of Greenland and helping to, to lend heat impetus to the Greenland ice mass. In the anomaly map, we see that temperatures across the Greenland ice sheet range from about five to as much as 15 degrees Celsius above normal, which is a pretty strong departure for this time of year. I'm just gonna advance this so that you can see the anomalies across Greenland and I also want to show you the extent of the above freezing temperatures. I'm going to switch from anomaly to, to surface temperature. And so we can see only two rather small regions of below freezing temperatures, both at the central ice sheet and in the northern zone. It's worth noting that warmer conditions along the northern coast of Greenland have been persistent during recent years as warm air has tend to invade this section of Arctic from the Barents Sea and from the North Atlantic. So it's possible that this, this more prevalent feature is aiding in the slowing of cool down for Greenland as well as these what appear to be unusual warm temperature spikes. Now, just to put this into context for today, I am going to show you a surface melt chart comparing the worst year on record, which is 2012, with the present year. And the present year so far has seen surface melt that has been above average, but, but not in a record range in comparison with, with 2012. However, so, so overall stronger surface melt signal apparently I'm gonna see if I can yeah apparently oh, there we go apparently then then during 2017 and if we do see a high percentage of surface area in a melt spike over the the this present 24 hour period we could see the high for this year challenged or potentially exceeded. And that, that's 
That's a bit odd, as, as you can see from the gray line here, which is the average melt line for surface melt. We tend to see a decline as the surface of Greenland cools in August. There appears to be a lag in that cooling of surface area. So, so something to, to keep an eye on, uh, especially considering the temperature readings that we are getting for today. Now, I just want to go ahead and provide a little bit more context and let you know that surface melt on Greenland is one signal of Greenland melt related to human-caused climate change. And over time, as the Earth system heats up, Greenland will tend to see more surface melt. However, there is another primary contributor to Greenland melt, and that is due to warming waters, particularly deeper waters in the region surrounding Greenland. And these, these deeper waters, these below surface waters that are warming up confront a number of seafronting glaciers around the perimeter of Greenland and tend to undercut them and flood into below, below sea level channels into Greenland, which also speeds up the rate of melt through such regions as the Jakobshavn Glacier, for example. And that's just one glacier that has a relatively deep channel that is vulnerable to ocean warming related melt. And that's a, that's a different melt related process than surface melt, but the two do have a, a combined feature, which is a signal related to human caused climate change. So just a, an update for you with regards to Greenland and uh, just a, 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 a bit of a, an alert to, to keep an eye on Greenland surface melt totals for August 8th, because it looks like we're, we're seeing a, a pretty strong period of, a, of above freezing temperatures for the Greenland ice sheet for today. So thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.